Hello everybody, this is Mr. Momobot, and I'm back for a uh, revisited uh, update, because the last update I did on the NECA uh, at 209 and Alien Stickers was not good information because I said wrong stuff, it was really crappy, but here I go again. Uh, with the update because I've learned a little more about them so let me show you new pictures and stuff and might as well just show you around a little bit in my new room here's my shelf right here again uh, with my NECA this is actually the new NECA figure from uh, yeah come on mm. Okay, whatever. You get it. It's a holster one. Yeah. There's my custom Ed 209 again. And actually, I almost got it the right size, but Ed 209's gigantic. Okay? So let me show you. Okay, here we go. Here's my laptop. I love this desktop screen. Okay, so let's get to that. those NECA figures. So here's the final version, I think, basically, of the Aliens figures. They look really, really awesome. But, um, someone said they were coming out in June, and they, I think they're right. But, um, I really don't know, and I don't want to predict again, because the last video I made, I said they were coming out soon. I didn't even know when they were coming out. So, I was completely wrong about that. Uh, so that sucked. I'm sorry that I gave you guys false information. I, I need to look into it a little more, or just wait till I get more information. So, that's basically them. Freaking awesome. Uh, sorry if this isn't the best quality video, but I'm recording this with a 3DS. Uh, so, yeah. And here's the new NECA Ed 209. He, that's real size. Look how big Robocop is compared to freaking Ed 209. That's huge. And I know it, Robocop's legs are a little bent, but I tried that too. Uh, to see what size it would look like with my Ed 209 that I made. And it doesn't do much in size so either way it's gonna be Ed 209 is gigantic uh, so let's see let's talk about the uh, futures included articulated head legs that slide up and down that's something I forgot to mention just now the legs do slide up and down and I've seen it in a work in progress uh, project picture and that it's just so epic I, I can't believe I was wrong about that I'm so happy I was I'm starting to have a feeling though the feet can't move but I was wrong about the legs so I could be wrong about the feet but they don't mention it so I don't really know but let's continue reading uh, uh, let's see head legs that's like uh, hinged arm wing panels everyone knows that Posable cannon arms. I don't really know how posable they are, but you know, they're just posable. And pop out rocket launcher on the right arm. That's something I did not expect. It did not look like it could um, do that. It looked like it was static. I knew the Hot Toys, the new one, does. I don't know, but it just feels like um, Nick is actually copying Hot Toys. Because look, let's see. Uh, also features mu movie accurate sound effects and dialogue. Press a button and hear the hydraulic machinery sounds. The guttural metal growls. Warning. Throw down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. I probably sucked at that. And more. This is a massive figure and it finally provides a worthy opponent for Robocop. Come in, comes in the Lux box set packaging featuring original illustrations and project product photography highlighting key action features. One run only. 
no reorders. They're never gonna make this figure again. Never. So, pre-order the damn thing because it's never coming back unless you get it up four thousand bucks on eBay. <sighs> so I'm definitely doing that, and I suggest you guys do too. He's about fifty dollars in the U.S. I don't know about anywhere else, but it's pretty good for such a amazing figure. It just is awesome. I can't wait to get it, and I hope. Oh yeah, the um, release date. I forgot the release date. Um, they finally they said it was he was coming in summer, which is now. But that sucks because now they released another picture or this picture actually on Facebook, and then they added something at the bottom, a little comment saying, you know, coming in September. September, god damn it. I have to wait more. We all have to wait. That sucks. But at least he's going to be coming at all, but it's just really annoying because I had it all planned and it was like, oh god, I'm going to have a heart attack. Now I'm going to have a heart attack having to wait longer. But either way, that's about it. About these awesome figures. These are so awesome. And I can't wait to get them. Uh, so yeah, I just got that new Robocop and I'm about to get a Dutch figure. So I am have a lot of stuff to review. But I'm sorry, I can't make any videos really right now. I, my stupid camera is running out of energy. Um, and I can't find the charger. And it's a certain type of camera. It's like the battery actually goes inside the charger instead of you just plugging in the camera itself into like an outlet or something. It's, it's different. It's really, really kind of retarded. It works, but it's retarded. Either way, I hope I can find that charger soon so I can make all these videos for you guys. And, uh, yeah. So, I hope this time I was informative without being false. I hope, anyway, I don't, I hope I don't find out that I, I was being false again. So, yeah, this is amazing figure. And I didn't expect him to make, like, sound effects and stuff. That's what the new Hot Toys figure does. So, that's why I'm kind of thinking they're copying them a little but still there this almost looks better I think it looks honestly better than the first Hot Toys figure so that's worth the $50 they could have made it a lot more expensive but they're being pretty generous it looked like about it was, it was supposed to be about 50 I kind of thought so but so there you go hope you uh, thought this was informative this time and I'll 